Okay, the question says men's shirt sizes are determined by neck sizes. Suppose the men's neck sizes are approximately normally distributed with mean 15.7 inches and standard deviation 0.7 inch. A retailer sells men's shirt sizes in S, M, L, XL, where the shirt sizes are defined in the table below. Because the retailer only stocks the sizes listed above, what proportion of customers will find the retailer does not carry any shirts in their sizes? Show your work. So to solve this problem, you're going to use normal CDF on the calculator. To get to normal CDF, you hit second bars, two, and your lower value is going to be 14 because that is the smallest size smallest neck size that they carry, and your upper limit is going to be 18, since that's the highest neck size that they carry. Your mean is 15.7, and that's given, and your standard deviation is 0.7, which is also given. You're At this point, you're solving for all the, the proportion of neck sizes that they do carry. So if I solve for it, it says it's 0 0.9919, and you do 1 minus that number to find what they don't carry and you get 0 .00808 and to find the percentage you multiply times 100 so you get 0 0.8 percent so there's 0 0.8 percent of customers will not find their shirt size at the store okay the question says using a sketch of a normal curve illustrate the proportion of men whose shirt size is m calculate this proportion well, this is a normal curve, and this is U right here, and this is the first deviation, second deviation, and third deviation. So the measurement from here to here is 68%. Measurement from the negative second deviation to the positive is 95%, and from here to here is 99.7%. Okay. And you're supposed to calculate for the z score because they're asking for the proportion of size m. So for the minimum value, it's 15 minus 15.7. Which is the mean. Which is oh, the, the standard deviation. The score is uh, the number minus mean over standard deviation. And that's the minimum. The Z max is 16, because that's the number, and minus. 15.7, that's the mean, over standard deviation, and we get a negative 1 for this, and 0.429 for this. Okay, so when we put the um, minimum and maximum onto the graph, you have 15.7 in place of your mu, since 15.7 is your mean. Your first standard, you're going to put your minimum at negative 1 standard deviation since we got a negative 1. And we got a positive 4.429. So it's going to be about halfway between our mean and the first standard deviation. So since this entire thing was 68, just this half is going to be 34. And this half is going to be 34. But we're looking for about half of this. So we're going to go, that's 17, and since this is approximately a, a little bit under 0.5, we're going to use 16. And if you add up the percentage on this half and the percentage over here, you have 34% plus 16%. So you get a total of 50%. So that means that the medium size is 50% of the proportion. Okay. Another way to approach this problem, which is slightly more accurate than the method we just showed you, is to put it into normal CDF on your calculator, just like we did for the first problem. So to get to normal CDF, again, you go to second, 
vars 2 and that's going to bring you to this screen your lower value is going to be 15 because that is the lowest size for m and your higher is going to be 16 since that's the highest next size for m your mu or your mean is 15.7 and that's given in your equation and your standard deviation is 0.7 which is also given in your equation and then you just solve for that and you get your proportion of m to be 0.5 so that's we got the same thing with by drawing out our graph and um, finding z-score but this is a little more accurate and a, you know that you got the right answer so the proportion of men whose shirt size is m is about 50 percent 